First Lady, Your Excellency, thank you so much for doing this interview with UNHCR. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You have been recognized both here in Afghanistan and around the world as an advocate for women and children. And I understand that you have especially been committed to helping children, including street children. Can you tell me a little bit about that and how children are affected by war? It's really something that people who go to war should keep in mind, that uh, they are hurting people, and they're not only hurting people of their own generation, but the, the very young ones. It's really very important to give opportunities to children while they're still children, and preventing them from being, uh, um, uh, being abused or being... Uh, and I'm saying abuse, it's not necessarily uh, physically, but even uh, socially or uh, psychologically, uh, or being deprived of a sense of security and a sense of uh, uh, self-worth. In a way, your humanitarian work is also an attempt to stop the cycle of violence. I was very privileged to have a very uh, secure childhood uh, where uh, there was no, no space for violence. And I cherish my memories, and I would, I would love for every child in the world to have the kind of childhood I've had. Also, you are a big advocate for women, and I saw a quote um, recently where you said, the Western media has depicted the Afghan woman as a helpless, weak individual. You responded by saying, the Afghan woman is strong, the Afghan woman is resourceful, you'll find out that there is not one Afghan woman that didn't have a lot of problems, a lot of it, that faced a very difficult situation. And she managed to conquer those situations, and she managed to try and do something of herself. And this is what I admire uh, in, the, in the women of my country here, because uh, they are uh, relentless, they carry on, they're very persistent. and. Uh, uh, they're also problem solvers, because when they see a problem, they try to solve it. We need to recognize that the, women's, the women are the agents of change, and that we uh, should really integrate them into any kind of uh, project we do uh, to uh, better the situation in camps. They should be in leadership position. They should re uh, represent uh, their, uh, uh, their families. Uh, what effect um, has the war had on, uh, you said particularly uh, families have been torn apart and that is, has in turn deeply affected women. The woman uh, was no longer considered like a human being almost. It was mostly like, uh, you know, it was, uh, okay, this is a woman, we, we don't even look at her and actually she needs to be covered and she needs to uh, uh, keep quiet and she has no, uh, and she needs, I mean, uh, you have to remember we, we had two periods uh, right before 2001 where uh, women were not allowed uh, to go uh, on the streets without a male uh, relative. You have a vision for a different uh, approach. I, I feel that each person should be given the opportunity of building his or her own life. Mm -hmm. I think it's much healthier. Mm -hmm. uh, they are in the process, they find out what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, and then they feel much more self-confident. Mm -hmm. Excellency First Lady, thank you so much for taking part in this interview. Thank you for having me.